this hook. We have this. Alright. Let me take this off real fast. So what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Que lo que mi gente estamos activo today. I know I haven't posted in a minute guys, but we're back. I'm trying to get back into the flow. I've been doing a lot of things lately and I've just been out of it. So it's been kind of hard for me. But I feel like I'm going back on a good track now. So guys, check it out. I don't know if you guys remember on my video a while back when I was living in LA and I had um, gotten pulled over. I got pulled over. I'll put the video right here. Look. All right, brother. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm gonna cut your break. I'm not writing you on any of speed. Okay. Right, you have a, a fix it ticket for the plate. Okay. Okay, so just take so off the wrap. Get it back to the original colors. Get the citation signed off. So it's either Sheriff, LAPD. Uh, in, if you have not watched that video, link in the description. First link in the description will be it. So you could go ahead and watch that. Well, anyways, I got pulled over for, I think it was um, supposedly being on my phone and having my plate wrapped. This is wrapped, guys. This is not like the original from California like from the actual DMV. So I had to take off, I had to take off the wrap and go to a police station or whatever the case might be. So I had to do that. Right now I'm gonna just take off the wrap. Hopefully it's easy to do. And then we got to head out to the police department. So, but yeah guys, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing right today. And then I'm gonna go to the police department just so I could get it get the ticket signed off because I think they're charging me like $500. And if I don't sign it, if I don't sign it off, but if I do sign it off, they only charge me like 150, so. And I got till Monday. Today is Friday. And I'm not trying to risk it. What if they're not open on the weekends or something? So I'm just like, let's do it. But yeah, guys, this is what I'm getting into right now. Let me just take this wrap off and then we'll go ahead and keep going on the vlog. I should actually just get like the original ones so they won't be so I won't be dealing with this. But um if I do, I think I want to customize the plates. I just don't know what to put yet. What do you guys think? I was low-key thinking like filming Hugo. F-L-M. Is it F-L-M? Yeah. F-L-M H-U-G-O. So I was just gonna say film Hugo, but I mean I think people will get the point. I know I'm that's the only thing I'm scared of too. Well, they're not going to make me turn it on, are they? Why the fuck am I going to turn it on? I'm just telling them that, hey, can you sign on my ticket? I got a back plate ticket, you know? They're going to see it, and then they're going to be like, oh, yeah. Was that you pulling up in that little carton? No. I was thinking of putting the front one on, but I don't think they're stupid. They're going to see that it doesn't have no sticker and month. I'm not sure. I'm just probably overthinking it. They probably would not pay attention to that, but I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just do that. Back stock. I really look stock, stock, stock. <laughs> All right, let's go put these tools away and then we'll be back. Nice exit. It's right there. Fresno Police Southwest District. Ooh, brothers. Let's see what they tell me. It says on their video surveillance. Brother, brother, brothers. It's good. Could I park here? The cars are on. I just need to see a police officer, I think. Hello. I just had a quick question because I had to get my ticket signed. Okay. And I just wanted to see if somebody could sign it for me. It was just for a wrap license plate. Let's take a look at it. Okay. And then that happened in LA, so quick question. I just want to know, what could I do in this situation? How would they know that it got signed? Because I got I called for an extension. They told me I had to do it before the 15th of August. I believe you would have to probably mail this out because since it happened in Pennsylvania, uh -huh. yeah. We can sign it off. That's no problem. Okay, and then just just send it out? Yeah. Was it Highway Patrol? Yeah, Highway Patrol. Oh, you can go to the Highway Patrol here. Where is it at? 
It's like if you're going towards, uh, I can give you the address. It's kind of if you're going towards like Amazon. Yeah, okay, yeah, kind of down there. Yeah. All right, guys, they're gonna meet me out here. Let's see. Yeah, that's this one. The M3. Yeah. Took it off. It was black and yellow. Oh, the M3 one? Oh, you already saw Yeah, that? no, they, well, it's because I do videos. So then I brought out the phone like right away just to record it and he's well and then he gave me that so I was just like uh I'm gonna just let it let it be. I don't I don't wanna be arguing back and forth with him. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Uh, we'll take care. Uh, we'll come back and said I'll give that uh, address. Okay. Alright. Alright, thank you. Appreciate right, no that. No problem. Have a good one you guys. Alright guys. So what they told me is, I don't know if you guys were able to hear, but they gave me the address to the CHP office. I think I can pay off the ticket there. I don't have to go mail this or anything. So hopefully that is true. And if it is, then we're good to go, guys. I hope they don't hear my car. They're like, oh, yeah, brother. Get your ass right now for that, huh? Vamonos, 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 vamonos. Before they gave me a bird, too. CHP office, let's see what they tell us there. CHP brothers. Ooh. Talk to him about my team. I right, just park over there? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, thank you, bro. up guys let's see what they tell us i can't read it <laughs> but this is where you want to mail it to so just mail it did you, yeah. get, anything, did you get anything in the mail from the court the thing is that i moved so since i moved i don't have i didn't have no information i had a call i even called to get like the extension and everything so i was just like wondering like i'm like up in the air i don't know what i had to do right right they would have they would have sent you something but since you since you moved you didn't, you didn't get that letter but um that's why I even missed the date, and that's why I asked for the extension, because I missed the date. I think it was like the end of last month, like on the 27th, and I called. So you called the court? I called the court, and then at first they told me that it was already missed it, but then she was able to extend it to like the 15th. She's like, you have till 15th to pay off. Either if you sign it off, you pay like 150 or something like that. And if you don't, then you pay 450. So I was just like, I was trying to find out, like, how do they even know that I signed it off and all that stuff? Okay, so, so were they able to find the ticket in their system? Did you I think they were. I think they were because I was. I was asking them. They even asked for my ticket number and everything. Yeah. Okay. So I would. What I would do is because here's the thing. I can't read that. Mm -hmm. I don't. Because the police officer over there was telling me something about that. If you guys were able to do anything about it, like to so we could just do the payment no, here. Because, because, no, because here's the thing. Uh, you have to take care of this in the county of where it occurred at. Mm -hmm. So if this is LA County, then they have uh, their superior court down there. Uh, their trap court more than mm -hmm. likely is where you're gonna mail this to. So I'd make a copy of it, and uh, that way you have something for your records. Mm -hmm. and mail this off. I would probably call that number again. And uh, see what they do. Spoke to mm -hmm. get the address and get the exact amount of the fine. That way you can either write a check or money order, and and that way it goes to the exact place of where you can go to. If they give me the exact um, amount, could I mail it at the same time as I mail the ticket? Absolutely. Yeah, so they don't want to see that correction. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, bro. All right, perfect. Thank you, boss. Right. Good luck. Thank you. <sighs> now we have this to go through. So I have to mail this out. I guess they can't do nothing about it. News that sucks. I mean, it's not bad. I guess I have to just go through the process. But now they said that I have to basically mail it that they can't do it because it's not their it's not Fresno County where it happened it's not in our county where it happened so now they have to mail it I have to mail it to them but I should just call he said I should just call and ask him I should just call and ask him how much is the exact amount so I could just basically um, send that with the ticket the copy of the ticket and then we should be good to go so hopefully it gets there by 
the 15th. Alright guys, so honestly there was no really there was really no point for me to even go to the CHP office, get the ticket signed off or anything. I mean, they were just gonna basically charge me 140 to just why didn't that lady tell me that? I would have done that that day of. Why is she telling me about all this other stuff? But yeah guys, hopefully we could get this all resolved and we're all good to go. He said that I basically disputed my ticket now, so I'm chilling. I know today wasn't like a crazy video, I gotta go to work, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to your boy. Make sure to smash the like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.